yeah thank you thank you for the question i'm so glad that at least i am able to connect to you finally otherwise i was thinking i will not be able to take up any questions today okay shrusti are you there right now okay any other question so if any other questions are there then we can go little in sequence so that the concept is also clear and we don't go half as that i note down one question what is irreversible shock great i will discuss it any other question is there we'll wait for 2 minutes then i will discuss the question okay anyways i hope that you have seen my video in circulatory shock uh, i prepared i thought that if you people watch it then it will be much better so coming to irreversible shock irreversible shock is the last stage of shock see any kind of shock the cause may be any okay uh, okay hypoxia hypoxia we will discuss though it is uh, shock is one cause uh, of hypoxia uh, so what i was talking is that any whatever is the cause of shock ultimately if we do not intervene it will ultimately progress to irreversible shock and irreversible shock is that which despite the intervention of the clinician cannot be treated okay so even though it will um, show some false readings of cardiac output and blood pressure and um, for some time we may feel that uh, cardiac output and blood pressure have risen but ultimately it will go on and deteriorate because uh, actually in uh, irreversible shock what happens the key factor which is is the energy stores have been depleted and once the energy stores of the cells have been depleted so basically it is due to tissue hypoxia only whenever hypoxia occurs oxygen is not available and uh, oxygen cannot be used to generate atp okay so cells use the stores which are there which are due to the atp which is present creatine phosphate which is there so it starts using these phosphate stores very fast and even when we are providing intervention it takes some time to recreate these stores so the rate of utilization of stores is so much and they have been depleted that with intervention rate of uh, creation of the stores cannot match with the rate of the utilization so ultimately irreversible shock cannot be and the patient will uh, cannot be saved actually so that is irreversible shock very rare cases okay it may be but uh, um, it uh, cannot be corrected so that is irreversible shock and uh, uh, actually there are so many things happening in body that ultimately this hypoxia becomes worse one very important concept is that there is activation of the coagulation system because uh, the endothelium is damaged because of the hypoxia the endothelium gets uh, damaged uh, now this little bit uh, might not be given in all physiology books or maybe give if any book is giving in point wise manner then they will just enumerate it. but try to understand that whenever there is shock then uh, the uh, blood supply of all the organs yeah blood supply is correct blood supply of all the organs uh, gets decreased and it causes hypoxia and why it leads to necrosis of tissues because see very important um, concept is all cells have sodium potassium atpase and sodium potassium atpase is the one which is important for maintaining the ionic gradients within the cell and if these ionic gradients are not maintained then the cell volume is going to change because water will move once that starts that movement of the water starts the cell will swell it will the functioning of all other transporters will break down and it will ultimately burst releasing lot of contents and uh, these contents basically especially the lysosomes which are there lysosomes have proteases so these may be released and they will again these proteases will start the breakdown of the nearby tissues as well so that is why hypoxia and ischemia lead to necrosis of the tissue the cells start dying which is not natural death and there will there is breakdown of the neighboring tissues also starts so this is ischemia and ultimately hypoxia which is uh, causing the increase in the coagulation right 
with increase in coagulation there is consumption of the coagulation factors platelets start getting consumed all the coagulation factors start getting consumed so there is a disseminated intravascular coagulation dic is start so some places there is clots are clots are being formed and because at some places clots are being formed lot of clots are being formed there is consumption of these clotting factors other places there will be lot of bleeding so that is the main uh, concept uh, that how why shock it is so dangerous okay and it is very important that it is to be intervened at early stage that is in the uh, beginning stage that is a non progressive stage of shock where body is trying to act, but it may be pseudo uh, try to understand it may be pseudo cardiac output is maintained bp is maintained so we have to actually correct the cause also in that stage also if we don't correct the cause in first stage itself then the person will land up into progressive stage so thing is that we have to identify the shock which i have not discussed in the video which i have released that you have to understand what are the features of the shock right so because the sympathetic system activity is there heart rate is going to increase the person is going to have palpitations right and uh, the because there is so much vasoconstriction the skin will be cold except in case of anaphylactic shock where there is the cause itself is vasodilation then the skin will be warm okay so that we have to understand that tachycardia palpitation cold the uh, skin then there might be cyanosis also okay so with the identification we will be able to intervene at an early stage fine any any other questions on shock i think in the video i have very uh, explained it from the physiology point of view in a very basic manner right so that uh, you understand uh, because what happens in books uh, it is given in um, uh, like four or five pages it is given and all the uh, mechanisms which we study in bp right they are uh, also given in shock in fully like two pages and all then we start reading that re reading that and uh, the concept of shock is lost lost basically we are reading the bp regulatory mechanisms what i see in guyton guyton has very beautifully explained this shock but uh, sometimes students get lost in between anyways any other question uh, srishti have you understood the question hind have you understood how hypoxia and ischemia lead to necrosis of tissue basically it is the sodium potassium atpase remember rule of thumb sodium potassium atpase is present in all the cells and it is present on basolateral membrane so this concept will help you when you are studying the mechanism of the salivary secretion mechanism of uh, any secretion gastric acid secretion anywhere you will see where ionic movement is there always start with the activity of the sodium potassium atpase okay so that is just another side track we took uh, hind have you understood any other questions are there hind is there can you respond in the chat box what i will do is that uh, i will edit uh, this live stream and only the question and answer part uh, i will include in the video so that uh, it is easy for later see also anything in treatment part anybody who wants to ask any question in treatment part which physiology textbook would you recommend to be best as a standard textbook for next exam for next exam preparation the standard textbook is uh, uh, obviously guyton and gelong you cannot see the way the concepts which are going to uh, to be asked they are not there in any other book which book uh, i think many people have started reading these books on uh, which give points points actually if you see my notes also i have not done points once i have done uh, the concept wise i have retained the concept because um, act when i read that those books i also don't understand anything frankly i have to tell you and you see the questions in neat pg 
whatever previous year questions are there what happens that they ask the concept they are not much bothered about each and every point right if you understand the concept you will be able to answer the question so obviously gaitan and ganong you have to understand obviously ganong is difficult so i myself uh, don't uh, recommend uh, students to read uh, ganong i recommend gaitan to uh, to be read okay so gaitan needs to be read and especially i will give you one tip when you are reading uh, gaitan because it is huge it looks huge though the concepts are repeated okay so what you can do is just a minute i will move little bit okay so what you can do is uh first always go through the uh, this um, headings headings and subheadings okay and then see what is there because and i personally say that first reading should be like a novel so you just go through very fast it is very important that you read the chapter very fast in first reading and what will happen there will be some things you will retain but you will get an overview of the stuff and then after that you try to if you are talking to somebody if you discuss then it is great otherwise uh, when we read everything runs in our mind it is a natural process of remembering things then you should uh, go for uh, uh, next reading when you go then you should go with your uh, this thing highlighting marker and all so i recommend first reading should be extremely fast first go through the headings and subheadings then read very fast you will get an overview and then uh, next reading you do with specifics so i know gaitan is uh, nowadays students are not referring gaitan but there are lot of uh, videos concept based videos are there and what i see is uh, students uh, finding very difficult to read books i know times have changed but uh, the questions are coming from gaitan only and what i see rather is that uh, uh, not only south east uh, south east asian edition the graphs are uh, from the original gaitan actually that uh, i am seeing uh, some graphs are not there in uh, south east asian edition okay so okay but at least minimum you should read the south east asian edition thank you shreya for your question i hope uh, i have not increased your anxieties with this answer and uh, maybe i will ask in next time that which books uh, i will do a poll which books uh, do students uh, read uh, so that we get to know what is the status right any other question on any topic on anything then maybe i will be able to take some questions <laughs> i don't know telugu actually i am from uh, uttar pradesh and uh, hindi meri matra bhasha hai <laughs> lekin i have forgotten much of hindi i generally speak in english only because i have stayed in uh, uh, i have stayed in maharashtra i have learned some uh, marathi i have stayed in kerala i tried to learn uh, malayalam there but uh, i stayed there for very short time then i went back to lucknow i went to bhopal and now finally i am in pondicherry and little bit uh, uh, tamil i have learned so, yeah konjam konjam tamil bolu enak i think i i might get right or wrong i don't know don't laugh on me <laughs> but guys my original language is uh, hindi <laughs> in final year also yeah 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 obviously concepts are same only <laughs> and you also you have to refer every time <laughs> great <laughs> muzaffar nagar up how how she knows me she is uh, means uh, she is watching my videos or there is some another uh, because once what happened somebody contacted me telling that okay um richa gupta are you richa gupta she said i said yes i am richa gupta then they were talking in hindi properly they talked and all then uh, finally i understood they are talking about some teacher in uh, up and uh, she is also in physiology and her name is also richa gupta so is it the same richa gupta up i don't know but uh, if she is watching my youtube videos and uh, she likes them thank you then ajitesh for letting me know 
and uh, do convey my regards to Dr. Farah also. I am so glad that I am able to connect to you and uh, okay, she was watching my video, uh, videos. Thank you so much. Hi, Shinji. You have any question? Actually, um, okay. I'm so glad I was talking. I'm so glad that I could connect with you people and I will do this very, very often now because now I have found out that uh, this 5 to 5.30 time I can devote to you people. So before like uh, for me, life was uh, like 9 to 4, I'm at work and uh, you won't believe, but I sleep by 9 o'clock and I wake up at 5 o'clock, but I have some... Um, uh, my own activity I exercise and it's like very packed so I was thinking where to include this live session and everybody was telling do this live session but I will definitely do more of these and I'm loving it talking to you people going live like this she used to learn from your videos thank you thank you and she finished physiology yeah there are many MD students who actually contacted me and now they are faculty also and um, Sometimes it happens, I meet them also personally and uh, then they come, oh, are you madam, same uh, Richa Gupta, we used to watch your videos. Thank you for letting me know, Ajitesh. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Okay, if there are no more questions on uh, shock, uh, then uh, can we say bye-bye? Because I will stick to 5 to 5.30 initially because uh, I really want to do more often this thing. Hi, Faranaz. Best wishes for you. Yeah, I'm so glad that we, you are uh, watching my videos. And <laughs> Hi, Faranaz. Hi. I'm really, literally very glad. Best wishes. Best wishes. So if there are no more questions on shock, can we take leave for tomorrow or uh, next uh, topic? And I'm sure, sure, soon I will post it. It will be very soon. Probably next Monday only I will do. This three days I cannot do because uh, my family is visiting me. So that's why. But uh, definitely, definitely, I think two times a week I will add this in my schedule. So uh, very often I am going to meet you. So be ready with a lot of questions and we will discuss a lot of physiology and maybe some personal talk also we will have. I, I loved it. Okay. Can we end the stream? Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Ajitesh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye, all. Thanks for joining. I will be glad to clear all your questions on physiology and maybe beyond also. See you then. Bye.